Hi, this is Chad Lorge with the Music Technology Area at Capital University. Uh, you know, there are numerous times when I want to be able to create a screen capture of Pro Tools with the VO, but if you've ever tried to make this happen, you soon realize that once the Avid Audio Engine gets a hold of the core audio, it never really lets go. Uh, so this screencast will show you how to work around this issue and let you record a mic and Pro Tools output uh, two quick times simultaneously. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, in order to record a screencast, tutorial using Pro Tools, we need to have multiple instruments running into QuickTime. So to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the audio MIDI setup, and it comes with all the Macs. Um, and what we're going to do is make sure that we're showing the audio window, which we are right now. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to create an aggregate device. So down here in the corner, we'll choose Create Device. Um, this is a device that's going to give us multiple inputs into QuickTime. And for this setup, what you're going to need to have is the free Rogue Amoeba, Amoeba Soundflower app uh, to give you inner app audio connection from Pro Tools to QuickTime. So after you create the aggregate device, you're going to choose your built-in microphone and Soundflower two-channel device in the list. Now at this point, if you're using a different external mic like a USB mic, then you should select that instead of the built-in microphone. And that's actually the case for me right now. I'm going to be using the Scarlett 18i8 uh, USB interface with a microphone going into it. So that's going to be the input into QuickTime. Now what you need to do is create a multi-output device. So you're going to go again down to the plus and choose multi-output device. This is, act, this is going to act as the new output of Pro Tools. So once you've created that, again, you're going to choose your built-in output and then the Soundflower 2 channel under the, the device list. Again, if you're using an audio interface, an external interface, or USB mic, you would choose that instead. And so that's going to be the case here for, for me. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and open up QuickTime. And you're going to choose to do a new screen recording. And right here's a little arrow where you get to choose your input to the screen recording and you're gonna choose that new aggregate device that you created. So remember, this includes both the built-in mic and the Soundflower input that's gonna be coming from Pro Tools. So then we click into Pro Tools and we're gonna to choose to go to our playback engine. And under playback engine, you'll then see your new output device that you had just created in the audio MIDI setup. So I'm gonna click on that. And of course, it's gonna shut down Pro Tools and, and reopen our session with that output. And again, that is going to feed audio from Pro Tools into QuickTime. It's gonna to allow to monitor Pro Tools through our headphones. And, uh, and then we'll have our mic input also coming in. And that's uh, Pro Tools is routing its output through Soundflower over into QuickTime. It's a pretty cool thing the way that Soundflower app uh, gives you that inner app audio connection. So now it's time to do some screen capturing. So we're gonna go in um, to QuickTime, and you can see I have audio uh, happening there. So let's go ahead and start our new screen recording. We're going to hit record, and then just click in the middle. And now we're recording our screen capture. Uh, we should be able to go in, in Pro Tools and hit play. We get audio from the microphone. We get audio from Pro Tools, both outputting through into the, uh, the QuickTime interface. So we go ahead and hit stop, and then you can click back into QuickTime. There's a stop button up here in the menu bar. And there we go. We have our uh, tutorial. So let's see if we have both the microphone and Pro Tools. And now we're recording our screen capture. Uh, we should be able to go in, in Pro Tools and hit play. We get audio from the microphone. We get audio from Pro Tools both outputting through into... So there we go. We have both the uh, the audio from Pro Tools and our microphone going into uh, QuickTime. I hope this tutorial helped you get your screencasting with Pro Tools set up working. Again, I'm Chad Lorge with the Music Technology Area at Capital University. If you want more information, you can go to capital.edu forward slash music dash tech.